to the 49th episode of the Addison County Countryman. I'm your host, well then opinionated. And as always, a continued celebration of Don here. Today, we are bringing you a new segment. That's right, Farmhouse Recipes. In this installment, we have here a recipe for seven layer bars. A fair winning recipe. A blue winning recipe from the Addison County Fair and Field Days. Right there. So grab a pencil, paper, and give a listen. Seven layer bars. Baked by Heather Garvey. Age? We better not say no. Ingredients. You ready? Half cup unsalted butter. A stick. One and a half cups graham cracker crumbs. One can of sweetened condensed milk. 14 ounces now. One cup semi-sweet chocolate chips. Three quarter cup butterscotch chips. Three quarter cup white chocolate chips. Goodness gracious. But there's more. Yeah. One and a third cup flake coconut and one cup chopped walnuts or pecans. Yeah. If you'd like to know how this yumminess comes together, drop us a line. We'll send it right to ya. Yeah. And if you have a recipe to share, send it on in now. Don't be shy. We'll tell all the good folks about it right here on ACCM. Yes, sir. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On to the news. on the edge of the bed watching his wife who was looking at herself in the mirror. Since her birthday was not too far off, he thought he'd better ask her what she liked. Probably a good idea. Well, I'd like to be eight again, she replied. Still looking in the mirror. So the farmer has to plan. So on the morning of her birthday, he woke up early, made her a big old bowl of Fruit Loops, and then took her to the Champlain Valley Expo up there in Essex. What a day! They rode every ride at the fair. The Cobra, the Zipper, the Scrambler, the Claw. Everything there was. Her head was spinning and her stomach was reeling. So of course he takes her to get deep fried Oreos and a blooming onion. Oh! Five hours later, they staggered out of the fair, and it was off to the movies. Popcorn, soda, and her favorite candy, M&M's. What a fabulous time. Finally, she wobbled home with her husband, clapped in a bed exhausted. The farmer leans over to his wife with a big smile, grinning ear to ear, and lovingly said, Well, dear, what was it like being eight again? She looked him square in the eye and said, I met my dress size, you moron. Putts. Oh, <laughs> oh we're in putts. Oh, that boy's going to die soon. Oh, anyway. Ah. In other news. Now, a retiring farmer in Addison County preparing to sell his land needed to rid his farm of all the animals. So he decided to go to every house in town and give one to his neighbors. To the houses where the man is the boss, he gave a horse. To the houses where the woman is the boss, a chicken was given. He got toward the end of the road and saw a couple outside doing some gardening. Who's the boss around here? He asked. I am, said the man. I have a black horse and a brown horse, the farmer said. Which one would you like? The man thought for a minute or two and said, The black one. No, 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 get the brown one, the man's wife said. The farmer, shaking his head, said, Here's your chicken, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, where's the regulars in that family? Oh, boy. Anyway. Before we sign off today, we just want to say get on out to the local fairs happening. See some friends, maybe a relative or two you might otherwise not see. Boy. Congratulations.
have some fried bread dough, maple ice cream cones, some french fries, and a glass of milk now. Support your local farmers. Always a good time. As always. Anyway, tune in next week for another fast paced sighting and part of the episode. Anyway, read recipes the same way you read science fiction. You get to the end and think, well, that's not gonna happen. Pfft.